On this episode, I talk about Volvo Electric, an 80-year-old theory, and the Trump photo. Hi, I'm Rob Onspach from Onspach Media, and welcome to episode 50 of What's Trending on Facebook Today. Before I share the trends, you know, I just spent the day at the National Aquarium in Baltimore with my family. We ended up buying you know, a member pass. It looks like this. And, uh, you know, it's actually cheaper in the long run. will allow us to return throughout the year free of charge. Plus, it gives discounts on parking and souvenirs and food while at the aquarium. It's a good deal. So you ought to check it out if you're, you know, in, if you like the aquariums and you are near Baltimore, get a member card. I think uh, I think you'll really like it. Speaking of good deals, <clears throat> this book, Power Guesting, the one I co-authored with Heather Havenwood, it's uh, Insider Secrets to Profit from Being a Great Podcasting Guest, it will go on sale this weekend. For just 99 cents for the Kindle. 99 cents. Make sure you order it. I'll place the link below. All right, let's get on with the trends. All righty. Volvo plans to go electric to abandon conventional car engine by 2019. Volvo will become the first major automaker to, to abandon the conventional car engine. I can't even talk today. Technology that has powered the industry for more than a century. All new Volvo models from 2019 would be either fully electric or hybrid. Now, <clears throat> here's my thoughts. If Volvo becomes the first car to abandon the engine, they may be the first major automaker to go out of business. Uh, you know, <clears throat> gasoline engines have been so entrenched in our technology, in our cars, that I think without them, cars just aren't going to be. Our electric grid is not designed for having all these electric cars out there. Just my thoughts, you know, I could be wrong. I've been known to be wrong. But I think in this case, uh, Volvo is going to end up changing their plans because you know 2019 is only two years away. I think they're going to be hard pressed to try to sell the public on, you know, Volvo being what they are, just going all electric. All righty. So here's an 80-year-old theory. <clears throat> A new photo may prove Amelia Earhart was captured by the Japanese. The theory is far from only speculation about what happened to Earhart after her disappearance on July 2nd, 1937. So 80 years, and we're still trying to theorize what happened to Amelia Earhart. You know what? She disappeared. She probably ended up on some island, and now she's dead. I mean... It is what it is, people. You know, it's not conspiracy. It's It happened during the war or prior to the war. You know what? I think we need to just let it go. And here's another thing we need to let go. <clears throat> the Secret Service interviewed Kathy Griffin for over an hour about the decapitated Trump photo. Now, I try not to get political on my show. Uh, because I know that there's people out there that cringe every time they hear the word Trump. But here's the thing. He is the president, and with all presidents, we need to give respect to the office of the president, regardless of you if you like him or not. So by showing the public a decapitated image of any president is going to land you in hot water. Bottom line. So, did the Secret Service have a right to do that? Yes, they did. Did she have what she claims first uh, amendment right, you know, her freedom of speech to post a decapitated image of Trump? Um, some would say yes, but here's the thing. 
it popularized terrorism against our president. So, I think she should serve some time to show the American public that this type of crap is not tolerated with any president. You know, some of you know that I didn't really care for Clinton or Obama, but, you know, these types of things, that's terrorism. So, you support your president, you know, you can dislike him or her, but you cannot post pictures of decapitations or, you know, things that you think should happen negatively to a president. It's just not right. And you should serve time if that's, you know, that you choose to do that. So don't. Anyway, that's my rant. <clears throat> Question of the day. How did you celebrate the 4th of July yesterday? Did you have fireworks, hot dogs, hamburgers, or something else? You know, comment below. I would really love to know your answers. Hey, if you like this episode, remember to give me a like, comment, and a share. And if you're seeing this on YouTube, make sure you subscribe. Well, that's it for the show. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you tomorrow on episode 51.